All schools are closed. <laughs> Businesses are closed. I don't know me my name is Ali Sparks I'm a performer and model based in Las Vegas and in today's video I am going to give you guys some tips on how you can make some money during quarantine I have compiled a long list of ways that you guys can make money right now really fast in the easiest way you literally can do all of these if you want to or just some of them this is not a stable income and it will not make you thousands of dollars or maybe it will maybe you will make a lot of money from it but just keep that in mind. This is just a side hustle so that you can have some kind of money coming in so you can pay for the groceries and bills and whatever. Be sure to watch until the end because I have a lot of good stuff for you guys. So yeah, let's just get right down to it. The first one is one that I'm sure you have heard about. It's so popular and it's called Poshmark. It's an app where you can sell old clothes and you don't even have to limit yourself with clothes. You can sell accessories, purses, I think you could sell unopened makeup, maybe even used makeup, I'm not really sure. You could just sell so many things that are sitting around in your room and I'm sure you probably have so many things that you have not worn in a long time. So this is the perfect excuse for you to just go through your closet and organize yourself and get rid of things you don't use. You may be thinking, why are you listing that? Like no one has a job, no one wants to buy clothes right now, which kind of is true but it's kind of not like there are still people with jobs and there are still people who may not even have a job but they're still buying clothes i mean i just went on a shopping spree online which was really dumb of me but those sales during quarantine are just something else i just updated my poshmark and i just sold two items within a couple days it brought me thirty dollars which was thirty dollars i didn't have and it was thirty dollars i gained from clothes that i will never wear they also take care of the shipping for you they make the buyer pay for the shipping and the great thing about this app is i have no idea why but for whatever reason as soon as you sign up you gain so many followers as soon as i first signed up i got 800 followers like that's a lot. That's a lot of people that were going to see my stuff. Here's one that you may have not heard about, but I have been hearing so much about it lately from my friends that are currently using it. It's an app called Bigo, Bigo, B-I-G-O, something like that. It's a live streaming app. It's geared more toward people who have a talent, which all of you have some kind of talent. I know you do. <laughs> Dancing, reading a poem, just talking about life, doing yoga, literally anything you could do. All of these things on this app and people will watch you, people will tip you. The app also gives you a base pay. There are some rules about how you make your money. I know that one of them is there is a minimum of 30 hours a month that you have to meet in order to get paid. And I think it comes out to like $27 an hour of what you get paid from the app itself. And then you get tips from people watching you. So honestly, that's quite a lot of money. My friend averages $800 to $1,200 a month from this app. So this is a great one to consider. You don't even have to talk to these people. Just get that camera rolling and show what you're doing. They don't care if you talk to them. Just entertain them in some kind of way. Instacart. So if you are wanting to get out of the house and you don't mind being around people or being in the creepy zombie grocery store, you can shop for people because there are people that don't want to go shopping right now. I even use Instacart. And this app, I think it's just hiring anybody as long as you know you have a safe background and whatever. And it's so easy. It's something you already have done before. It takes no skill. Just go to the grocery store, look at the list of items, check them off as you go, check out, deliver them to the person, and you're done. My friend said that she's making about $10 to $15 an hour with this app, which it's more than minimum wage and it's such an easy way to make money and you make your own hours. Maybe you don't want to go in the grocery store. Maybe you want to stay in your car. 
deliver food. I know all of the food delivery services are really needing drivers right now because no one's going out to the restaurant, but there are people still ordering food and they need drivers more than ever right now. There's so many to choose from. I know there is Postmates, uh, DoorDash delivery, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. The base rate for Postmates is like four to six dollars an hour, and then you make the tips on top of that. I read that Grubhub makes eleven dollars an hour plus the tips, so that one's probably a better option to be honest. Can you sew? Do you have glue? Lots of people need face masks right now. Constantly on my Facebook timeline, I just keep seeing people saying, "Who's making face masks?" So many states are also requiring that you have to wear a face mask out in public right now. So this is a great opportunity to make money if you have the crafting skills. There are so many tutorials out there that will teach you how to make a face mask. You can glue them together, which obviously that one's not going to make you as much money because it's not as good quality. But just to give you an idea, I'm personally charging $15 per face mask of a sewed high quality face mask. I've seen face masks on Etsy that are selling for like $20 to $25. Offer up, let go. Those are two great apps to sell old items that you have. You can also use Facebook Marketplace, which I have never had success with Marketplace. So it's a good place to just post and see. The app that I use is Offer Up. I get pretty good success with it. Any kind of items that you have lying around that you don't use anymore, post it and see if someone will buy it. The items that will sell the most are obviously the ones that people are wanting during quarantine right now. Video games, board games, and bikes. I have been trying so hard to get myself a bike and every time I finally find one on this app and I message them, they're like, oh, it literally just sold. So if you're willing to part with your bike and maybe get one later on in the future, that will definitely sell. Video games will definitely sell because people are wanting those like crazy too. Anything you have lying around that could be entertaining for someone at home, you are most likely going to sell. So try to sell it. And another app. I hope you guys have some smartphones because I'm listing a lot of apps here, I know. But one app that will not make you very much money at all, but it's something for no effort at all, is an app called Ibotta. It's a cash back service. So whatever store you're shopping at that is on the app, they will have a list of a ton of items. And if you buy one of those items and take a photo of your receipt, they will give you cash back for that item. You can get 50 cents to $3 back from an item that you already planned on buying. And so it's just like a discount. Yes, yes, yes. I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've used the app, but I know that when you first sign up, they give you money. I think it's $10, so that's a free 10 bucks. This one is a website, it is called Gazelle. It's a website where you can sell an old device that you have lying around, like an old Samsung phone, iPhone, iPad. I just recently discovered it and I have been trying for so long to sell my iPhone 8, but I just could not for the life of me sell it, even for such a cheap price. So I entered in all of the information about the phone that they asked and it told me that I am going to get $112 back when I send the phone in. So if you have a device lying around, check out that website, enter in all of the information that it asks about that device and see how much you can get. Online surveys, they will pay you too. I remember doing this when I was a teenager. Like if you've got some time and you don't mind just staring at your computer for 10 to 15 minutes at a time, you can make one to three dollars per survey. I did a little research to see what survey websites were the best. Life Points that pays about a dollar per survey and each survey is only 10 minutes long so you can make six dollars in an hour which is less than minimum wage but hey if you're not doing anything for that hour that's six bucks you can earn. There is also Survey Junkie and that one pays one to three dollars a survey. There is Inbox Dollars did not see how much that one pays, sorry, but it's probably about the same. And then there is Pinecone, which pays $3 per survey, which take 15 minutes to do. Online tutorials. So many people are trying to learn something right now. So what skill do you have that you can teach someone else? 
Are you a great dancer? Do you know how to play guitar? Do you know a different language? There's so many possibilities. Whatever it is that you are skilled at, someone is wanting to learn. So that is all of the tips I have on how you can make money. I really hope that at least one of these striked your interest. I really hope that you can make some kind of money if you have been trying to find a way on how to make money. Please let me know in the comments if you end up doing any of these and what your success is like. Also remember, just like with everything in life, it is all about your mindset. Just put it out there into the universe that you are attracting money. Wealth is attracted to you. Picture in your head a flowing river and imagine it as money and it's just a non-stop flow. Keep that flow going. I promise you it works. Uh -huh.